Hello and welcome back here again post Black Friday where we're now about to use some of all the good cars we just got because it's a gameplay day and we have the Lamborghini Veno Veno Venino qualifiers one so it's one of those not quite as far as challenges and for the first one here we need SUVs and as always I haven't actually found out what I'm going to use I will find that out now with you guys. So first of all, gotta move into position and then I gotta check out what the surface conditions are like. I mean it's SUV, so it's probably gonna be off-road, but you never know with the house, they might throw a curveball or something. So okay, yeah, okay, it's off-road. And I'm seeing two fast. Is that a trend? One fast, so no. Like kinda fast. Um, oh, too fast again. Rest kinda twisty and free fast. Okay, so and it's always all off-road, yes. Sometimes it is like, the first one is all off-road, so I don't look at what the track surfaces are for the next one, and then like, maybe two or three on asphalt or something. And then you're fucked for that, so. Any case, I will just go pick out some off-road cars. Okay, so we need three of them to be 2015 to 2017. Let's just get some good in there. I can't not take that one, some maxed out epic. Um, that one for the twisty stuff, and I'm thinking actually just as SUV so we might actually be able to get something with off-road tires in right yeah maybe if we have an SUV but it doesn't look like we have one from this year specifically though so probably just a XT5 yeah maybe I'll go for this one depending on what cars I find in here because in here is where we really got to go wild because it's less restrictive so another maxed out epic and then of course this one start Bentley and then we're kind of close Okay, great, but do we have anything that's actually off-road tires? I mean, if we do, I should start to say I'm doing this the wrong way because I should probably just go filter by off-road tires. And we have three cars and mm, don't think I want to use those. Don't think I want to use those. I'm thinking this seems like a good hand, right? I mean, of course the Bentley could be maxed, but I'm thinking that's going to be okay. I think that's going to be okay, especially if you give me cars like this to beat. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, probably just like you there, you there, test ball, you there, then you go for that, and you go for that. Seems like a good way to do this. Okay, so barely for the win. Wow, that should not have been that close. I mean, we are medium and he's high, but should that really make a difference on slalom? And here, clear win, of course. This one should be as well, if not then I actually do have a Mercedes, I, yeah okay, I'm gonna go for that Mercedes I have, that would be this one. Even though, this one used to be such a great dragger, it used to have just under 90 MRA, and now it's, yeah I don't even wanna say, you can see it on the screen, but, ugh. And top speed here, takes the cake, but only 113, that's so low, Jesus Christ. I mean the TVs are rarely meant for dragging, but still. This one however, is so amazing. I should maybe take another Bentayga, I do have two of them, but then I wouldn't need to spend the cash one starring it. I mean, if it's for a carbon, then it would be worth, right? We're only 45 people in, so I might at some later point actually go in and just put in this one instead of something in here. I do have a little bit of extra IQ and I could probably find something out. Especially if I go in now, just freak off. That's so annoying that it doesn't come down. I'm so hoping you're gonna fix that. But I do have this one, which would have beaten that car. And if I put that in instead of something like, yeah, I'm thinking there. I mean, now it's an occupant down, which seems a little wasteful, but I'm thinking this is the way to go. I mean, we'll find out now, because it's gonna go up against the car that just lost for me. So you there, and you there, and please don't whisper too much, because two goddamn nine, yeah, that's wishlist for sure. Wow, that's a car, that's good. Um, okay, so then I'll put you there, you there, and you there, and this one over here is gonna be interesting because I actually think the Land Rover just might have it because of the off-road tires. But this one we do have, your off-road tires ain't good enough for this. And then this one, okay, okay, okay yeah, this is better. By wow, actually some bonus points. Oh my god, the BMW has fallen so far from grace. I'm not gonna not have it in my hand because then it's just like a decent twisty car. It doesn't have that gate grip, but yeah, it's 16 but So, yeah, I'm still gonna keep it, of course. And yes, this is what I thought. This is better. This is better. It is better. Might have to use that, but then we're gonna go way below IQ. 
Okay, I know it's not about always maxing out RQ, but I feel like if I'm not maxing out RQ, I'm wasting potential. So other people will be able to take advantage of that RQ and go with stuff like the quad portfolio and stuff like that. So yeah, feel like I'm not uh, gonna be able to do anything if I'm not at least close to the RQ limit. Oh, this one's easy. Definitely take that one. Okay, so you there, you there, you there, you there and you there. I'm not really sure about the slalom over here because that <laughs> Mitch Bitsy there did have 86 grip and when it's offload you never really know what counts and what doesn't count because 060 seems often to not really count as much as grip. But we'll see. We'll see. And this one is really close. <laughs> How is it that close? I mean that's a one better grip but look at the 0 to 60 difference. Is it just like wheel spin or something? Because Jesus. Okay easy win. Wow, this one is better than I thought. Has this one gotten buffed or something? I used to remember this one having like 46 MRA or something like that. I know it's better now, but I didn't know it was that good. That was so slow. <laughs> the slowest race over there was like... How exciting, how exciting, Arch. No. Okay, and this one... Actually, which one is gonna win? He looks to be pulling ahead, you see? The grip is worth more. What is this? Okay, I'll go out and I'll get the Land Rover because that probably could have done that. This is not the way forward. That car is not the way forward. Okay, so am I using that one as a 2017 car? Because if I am, then I gotta exchange something in here for that. Ooh, that one actually. This one's a really good slalom car because it is light for an SUV. It's comparably light. So 1500 and over here we have 1800, which actually isn't bad because if you look at something like this one, for example, we go 2100. Actually, do I have something heavier? What about like the Volvo? No, that's actually lighter. That one's heavier. Wow, two and a half ton for the Bentley. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, we do have this one. And it is in here. Wow, this car does not look like it's from 2016. I would have picked it to be like 80s or 90s or something like that, but it's just like bulky style. Okay, um, this one in here. And this hand is just really not what I thought it would have been, but. Seems like this is the way, it seems like this is the way we should be able to take this dude. And also give a little test to Land Rover actually, because, I mean it's snow, so it should be home ground for the offer car, but we'll see, we'll see. And then definitely you on the drag, then you on the test ball, no, you on the test ball, definitely. I don't know why I was even thinking that other stuff. Then you there and you there, because you were more grippy and forward front, eh, it's a bit less grippy. Okay, so this is gonna be a l wow. Okay, this is gonna be a loss, but we actually had it there for a bit. I'm guessing that was wheel spin. We did had less of that. Okay, then here this is a loss. Okay, so we might actually just go for the Volvo. I have two of those, but then I have to take something else out because that's not 2016, which is the max. No, that's 2017. That's the max. That's the 2018 Volvo. So doesn't really matter. But look at this. Look at this. now we are getting fucked by it. What is this? How do we lose? And then we lose again with the same freaking car. What? It's because it's ice. Okay, I gotta think straight. Of course, put it on the ice. Put it on the ice. Don't be a dummy. Okay, we do win something over here, but uh, unless this last one is a huge win, I'm gonna lose here. It's not gonna be a huge win. It's gonna be by 50 and... Oh, 80 actually. Hmm. Well, 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 look who won again, <laughs> look who won again. Okay, ice, gotta put on the ice. Okay, oh my god, the euro is in here as well. Of course it is. I want to put it on wishlist, but it's like, it's a price car, so uh, it doesn't really count. Ooh, definitely the Audi. I'm just putting so many cars on wishlist at the moment. Okay, okay, these guys are insane. Why am I actually not using this? That off-road tires as well. I'm an... Oh, I'm an idiot. And this is probably my last ticket, so I'll have to actually remember that for when I get tickets again. As a kind of huge chance that the next time I go in and play and I have tickets again, I'll be like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's right again. And then it's the last ticket. I'll have to do it once more. And I always forget because... I mean, I can't go change it afterwards because I can't access it without tickets. It's the small things. It's the small things I manage to get annoyed by. Okay, so of course you're on the drag, and then... Yeah, yeah, you go lose that, that's okay, you win that because that's ice. 
ice, ice. We win there, and you win there, hopefully, because if you don't, then kinda disappointed, but, eh, well, to be fair, the FPS does have a higher IQ. And also, it's a one star and still beats me. You're so bad! You used to be so good! Why are you so bad now? I'm disgraced by you, really? Don't disappoint me like that, I was so happy for you for so many years, we've been together for years! And just walk up and leave all the performance. I actually won that one, holy shit. I'm guessing ice, more slippery, more wheel spin, we take it, but... My god, that BMW is disappointing me, like hell. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> we might actually have to take it out of the hand. Barely, holy. Crap, that was close. How? Again, must be Whispin because we have way better CF60 and two more grip and... Okay, he's lighter. Fair enough. Thought we were lighter, but we weren't. We weren't, but we are P2. Jesus Christ. This is carbon fiber territory. This is tier 1 carbon fiber, 400 gold, 40,000 cash territory. Holy shit, I need that gold <laughs> because at the moment actually... Our uh, grind for 1 million has uh, come to a halt. I mean, I do have 1 million, so the video will be coming out within a week. If you want to see me spend a million cash on ceramics, then get subscribed. It would mean a lot. We have a lot of fun here, post every two days. But, back to this. This is insane. We only have 50 people in, so this is subject to change. But for now, I'm liking the way this looks. I'm really liking the way this looks. And that was my last ticket, so I'll need to go remember to put that in the center later instead of the Land Rover. Okay, let's just really quick take a look at this and maybe like do one in here because uh, I really want to see what I have available. So what are the track sets here? What are the track sets here? Okay, so it's all dry. Uh, one fast, two fast and a half. Uh, one and a half. Uh, da, 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 one, just one, and then s one. It's about to say zero, but that's just one over there. Okay, so we can have at least one dedicated dragger. That's good to know. Uh, we'll probably just take in the highest and cars I have. I don't think I'm gonna be maxing out IQ anyway. Am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Actually, because it's a drag, I maxed this one out to get the Peugeot. I actually would not have gotten it without spending gold and maxing this one out. But um, now it's gonna come in handy again because. There's always one drag, and this one, surprisingly decent drag, especially for that CO60, so... I would say it's a great RQ save as well, because it's only RQ56, but I don't really need RQ in here, I have plenty to spare. Yeah, this is probably my best hand. Probably my best hand, and if I'm beating cars like this, then I'm happy. Though, maybe I should actually go exchange one of my cars for one of these Trans Amps, because I have one maxed, and uh, the 97 grip is mine, not 98. That would be quite useful, even though, what the hell, so you have one at a 332 and one at a 233, but not one at a 323, which is the more normal one. I don't know if this one isn't actually better than my 323, but I've just seen by far and away most of the cars being 323. Okay, um, you're definitely the dragger, but we need two of you, because, well, this one's actually got good in my way as well. Um, Mm hmm. MRA, you go for the rolling start. You go for the kind of faster bit, and you have a little bit more grip for the heaven. <laughs> and this one should be a win. Yeah, even though he actually has better shape 60 and top speed than me, I still win because this is actually quite a decent dragon. And this one should win. Of course. Amazing Amari over here. A hundred. Or oh, thereabout. And then... Of course a win. This isn't really twisty enough for me to see a use for the high grip over here because the CF60 is really bad. I mean, even at a 352, you still get only 5-1, which compared to these ultra rares really ain't gonna cut it. But if there's something like especially a car park or a G-Force test, then I would definitely want that one. Twisted Circuit or Twisted World could do it as well, but let's just go take a look. Okay, so... Not really useful here. Kinda, yeah, kinda. Not too much. 
Yeah, kinda. Especially with the rolling start, but especially with that. And then I've just realized we need two city streets cars, and my spot break actually is medium, so I only one more of those. So happy I didn't hit one of those in my first try. Okay, let's just go put in the medium car because that is actually what I need. And you're medium, right? You are medium. But then, okay, okay. I should actually probably go for this Chrysler over here because that's medium as well, right? Yeah, and that's only one lower grip, but way better shift to 60. 4 1 to 4 6. So, yeah, I should probably just go with this, but then exchange it for what? My dragger? Or this one? Or maybe even an epic that's only one start, and I've actually had for almost 900 days. This was my second epic ever posted on this channel. I remember winning it from a tri series, and then right after that, doing a gameplay video of it, I was like, oh. One of my first epics that was back when I only had like three or four epics that I've ever packed. So uh, this one's been with me for a long time. And then since then I've actually had two more that I've, I guess, fused. <laughs> I actually didn't even know I fused those, but uh, I believe it. Okay, so I'll take this one in and I'll put it on top of that. Yeah, this is my plan. Uh, that is my plan. Okay, but this dude, for instance, he doesn't know about the city street, I'm assuming, because he doesn't have any cars that's... Say to speak compatible, and by that I mean medium. Okay, uh, you have, and I need to find somebody who has that because that's worse cars, and I have worse cars, so <laughs> I need my worst cars to be a little better than his worst cars. Okay, um, you there, y you there, hmm, you there, and now the question becomes do I put this one over here, even though it would perform better over here, but they would perform good both places. I'm thinking I'll try to minimize the damage over here and then just win that one. Even though the spot break with 87 grip really is for something twisty. 87, that's not too bad. This one has really, really good MRA, so I was expecting something quite brutal. Okay, let's win. Nice. That's a win. Nice again. This one, that's a winner still. It's a winner, winner still. It's a winner still. And this one, of course, is a winner as well because you just don't take super rares to an ultra rare fight. Just like with guns and knives, they don't play together. And so far, it seems like we have a good lobby. We are somewhat in the beginning here, yes, because this is kind of a new lobby. The top guy has only done his five tickets, so that means I'm not too far behind. But I'll actually end off the video here because, well, I might do a follow-up to this one, actually. Never know. This one's looking decently, though I've never really been that good in Chrysler events or Jaguar events for that matter. So, we'll see, I guess. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it entertaining and I think you do, then you should stuck around to the ending. Then please leave a subscribe. It does mean a huge lot for me. We're trying to get to 1,500 subscribers. It sounds insane, but I believe in us. I believe we're going to do it. I post software stuff, as I said, every other day, and I have a big, big pack opening coming up <laughs> shortly, shortly, shortly. And if you want to support the channel, then go check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description, and I'm actually live right now as this is being recorded, as that is one of the perks of becoming a patron. You get to see stuff live, there's a private Discord, and a whole lot of stuff. Check it all out at the link in the description. In any case, I'll see you next time. Bye.